Thank you for joining us, Queen Anne's County. Today we have a live update for you. It's Friday, March 13th, and the Queen Anne's County officials have announced actions to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Public access will be restricted in all county facilities until further notice. No one presenting flu-like symptoms will be permitted to enter. Public meetings will be restricted to no more than 30 people. Senior centers are closed for general purpose effective March 12th. Recreational and sporting events leagues at county parks, including practices and games, will be canceled or postponed until March 27th. County parks will remain open for passive recreation only. Artificial turf field use is suspended until March 27th. The state has closed all public schools until March 27th. This includes after school activities as well. Visitations to the County Detention Center are canceled until further notice. The Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center will be closed on weekends beginning Saturday, March 14th. Security court jury trials and meetings are canceled for the next two weeks. All other regular court business will proceed as scheduled at this time. The Queens County Sheriff's Office will not be allowing visitors in the office or offering public fingerprinting. And the Queens County Public Libraries will be working reduced hours Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. All programs and meeting room usage will be canceled until March 30th. And this is a rapidly changing event. So follow Queens County government on social media at QACGOV and QAC.gov online for the latest updates to county government. For the latest information on COVID-19, follow Queens County Department of Health at QADOH and QAHealth.org. We really want our citizens to be careful out there, so we're doing the best that we can. And we just want you to know that these are the Queens County officials' actions to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Thank you so much for watching. This is Bruce Grove from Queens County Television. Have a good night.